I'd like to say good morning also. Um, the senator and I was joking early. He was the one calling me at 12 o'clock last night. <laughs> and I applaud him, seriously. Uh, I applaud Senator Hughes um, because uh, he was relentless. As the president of city council said, uh, we were together, I think it was Saturday night uh, at local 332 event. And Senator Hughes at that particular event uh, spoke about this particular issue. So I applaud him uh, for showing that leadership. And then also my own senator uh, who um, did a lot around the school issues and the construction. I also applaud him on his leadership. Eight days from now, though I know this is not about this discussion, uh, we will have a what I call a political window will open. And the reason I bring that up is because um, one of the people are talking about a large infrastructure investment. And I put this in the category of infrastructure. Um, and this is something that that means to what the president of city council said, to what he said, that means it's an opportunity uh, in eight days from now. And the reason I say that, um, meaning is through this collectivism, as Councilman uh, Jones said, that can make a difference. Uh, local, state, and federal working together. Uh, no one single entity can do it by itself. But I also agree also with the president of city council when he said about, really it's a question about priorities. Um, if you really think about it, and I applaud the city and the council and the mayor for what they do on a pre-K, but on that very same day, I was at an event where a thousand kids um, needed to get glasses. Uh, and when we talk about health care, or I was at an event where you talk about dentistry uh, run by PCCY. So we can do pre-K at the local level, but the reality of it is you got to make sure these kids are healthy uh, and one is connected to the other. So through Senator Hughes, Senator Hughes' leadership today, it brings us together. And to what uh, Councilman Jones said, we do have some collective work to do. It, it doesn't stop at a press conference. I mean, this is nice, and everybody think you had the press conference, and where do you go from it? We have some work to do. And the work can't just be the press conference. Uh, the work has to be that we are all collectively to use our collective leverage and whatever level of government we're in to really set the priorities. This is not going to be done overnight. As the council president has said, he said, I think, council president, I would say to you, years of neglect and decay that this has occurred, years of neglect. So the priorities haven't been for the cities for a long time. It just didn't start with the people who are here in this room. It's, it's been a long time that cities have been neglected. So the aspect of cities neglected is directly connected to lead poisoning uh, and dentistry and other things that you may have. So Senator Hughes, you may have opened up Pandora's box so right. in terms of just the lead poisoning. That's one part of it. And I'm glad the NAACP is here because you need the organization and you need the African-American ministers who are here. I know the AMA. You need all of them. So it's not just the elected officials. It is the civilian organizations to be a part of this effort. And I'm glad to join with Senator Hughes and Senator Haywood in this effort.